They always try and escape. No, no, get back in. Hey, get back in. Get back in. So four of my daughters are in school right now, which makes mornings a tad wild. Now, I'll be honest, I do not love cooking breakfast. So I love having things in the freezer that I can pull out, microwave in 60 seconds. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Now, I've been throwing a few hints here and there that we have chickens. Why? We got them in April and they are finally starting to lay eggs. Now, I thought chickens laid eggs in the morning, which is not necessarily true. Ours come in the afternoon, but I'll tell you what, we're getting about four eggs a day right now, which can add up rather quickly when you don't eat eggs every single day. So I'm excited to take all these eggs and make them into freezer meal breakfasts. All right, let's jump into it. The first recipe is our bagel breakfast sandwich. All you need is some cheddar cheese, some eggs, some ham, and of course, some bagels. Now the instructions tell you that you can cook an egg in a mug. If you're gonna do that, I try and find a bigger mug that's about the same size as my bagel. But if you're going to make a lot of these, I would just scramble a ton of eggs and just use scrambled eggs. So I'm gonna do it in a mug just to show you. So you're gonna spray it with nonstick cooking spray. I'm gonna crack my egg into the bottom, fresh up the yolk, give it a little stir, and we're gonna cook it for 60 seconds in the microwave. While that's cooking, I'm gonna get the rest ready. I'm gonna open up my bagel. Then onto each bagel, I'm gonna add a piece of cheese. If you have thicker ham, get thicker ham. This is pretty thin, so I'm doing two pieces. And then we're just gonna plop the egg right on. Easy, easy peasy. And um, just word of warning, your egg will explode, so don't forget a paper towel on top of your egg. Then when you're all done cooking however many you want, I like to wrap them in foil, so I'll just put it like right in the middle so there's no bagel showing. It will freeze a lot better this way. Then I like to keep them all together and just put them into a freezer meal bag. Then when you're ready to eat it, you can go ahead and take the foil off, stick it in the microwave for about a minute. You might need to cook it a little bit more, but usually a minute is good. The next recipe I'm making is breakfast potatoes. Now we're roasting these and you can actually freeze them after you roast them. For this recipe, you need six red potatoes. If you want to make bacon, you can. I like using bacon pieces because I'm lazy. Then you have olive oil, shredded cheddar cheese, some garlic salt, and then some salt and pepper. I'm gonna first cover my cookie sheet with foil. Then I'm gonna chop the potatoes into bite-sized pieces. Once you're done chopping the potatoes, just pour them right onto your pan. Next, you're just going to drizzle some olive oil on top of the potatoes and then mix them all around. I'm using my fingers because I don't wanna cut holes in the foil. Next, we're gonna season the potatoes with garlic salt and a little bit of other salt and some pepper. Then again, I'm just gonna mix these with my fingers. You're gonna be flavorful. Lots of flavor. So right now, you're just going to add your bacon. We're not gonna add the cheese quite yet. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. All right, we're gonna cook these at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Once your potatoes are done cooking and cooled, you're gonna take them and just put them into a freezer bag. Now, the one thing I love about this is that you can take out a few, you can take out all of them, and just heat them up in the microwave. Now, with the cheese part, go ahead and put the cheese on right before you microwave them and it will be all nice and cheesy potatoes. The next recipe is turkey sausage sliders. For this recipe, you need some biscuits. It calls for five eggs, but we're gonna use six because they're kind of small. I don't know if you can see this, they're pretty little. Then we have some lean turkey sausage and some cheddar cheese. First, you're gonna bake your biscuits by what it says on your package instructions. Now, while that's cooking, you're gonna get everything else ready. So this is my turkey sausage. Now, the original recipe says to cut this into 10, but I only have eight biscuits, so we're gonna cut this into eight slices. Okay, I'm just gonna heat up a skillet and then just put these little guys on. Then while those are cooking, I'm going to wash and then crack my eggs and get those ready too. Then when you're done, I am gonna add a little bit of garlic salt. I love garlic salt and eggs. We're gonna whisk these all together and then scramble them up. All right, eggs are ready, sausage is all cooked, biscuits are cooling. Now we're just gonna put it together. So I'm gonna take a piece of cheese. We're gonna just use half of it because we don't need that much cheese on there. Just a little bit of eggs, a little bit of sausage, and there you go. Look at how fun that is. Now before you wrap these in foil, make sure they're all the way cooled down because you don't want them to be soggy. Now the best way to heat them up, you can heat them up in the microwave or I like to do it in the air fryer so you get a little bit of a crispy biscuit. And this one's my lunch. Mmm, that is 
that is good. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you want more freezer meal breakfast ideas, I got more for you. Oh, thank you. Right up there. All right, guys. I'll see you later.